Hello everyone, here I am with Prayer Lab Minute on the road. I'm uh, in the office of the Forest Lake Times talking to sports writer John Wagner. So John, would you share with us about a practice of prayer that's been meaningful for you? Sure, happy to. I have a, a phrase for this, but being a wordsmith, I'm embarrassed by this phrase and we need to do better. So I'm gonna crowdsource, I need your help here. <laughs> uh, I call this stealing time, but it's not really stealing. It's taking available moments and using them for the purpose of talking to God. Yeah. Uh, as I, many of you know, I, I grew up with a very strict idea that prayer is hands are folded, head is bowed, you say certain things. Eyes you, closed. Eyes closed. Oh, yep. absolutely. And you say amen when it's all said and done. And there are, you know, there are rules that you're following here. Right. And in this instance, there really aren't any rules you know it's it's a chance that where i'll speak to god and sometimes it's a little bit more you know it's talking about things that are on my mind or things that are out there in the world sometimes bad i'm you know, talking about the ukraine situation and mm -hmm. asking for help and enlightenment there and sometimes it's it's just life you're busy i'm busy I know everyone is busy, <laughs> so finding that time it can be difficult. So it's the way that I go about finding that time. Yeah. So how would you say this has changed your um, relationship with God, your faith, or just what you think about as prayer, especially having grown up in that sort of, there's a, there's a right way to do it mentality. Yeah. And obviously, I've had to kind of expand yeah. my mind there. The word prayer... You, you want to do something that's worthy to God, yeah. you know, and that's not a small consideration. Mm -hmm. So that's something I've kind of wrestled with a little bit. The other end of it is having a conversation with God implies that there are two people talking. Yeah. And usually. so conversation part, my part of the conversation is pretty easy. It's pretty obvious. But it's that end where I'm trying to listen to what God is saying, God's part of the conversation, that can be a little trickier, uh, especially when I find that my time is starting to run out. So it's, yeah. it's making sure that I don't steal the time that God wants to talk mm -hmm. to me or to explain or just help with discernment. So finding the time to let God speak in our conversation is what I'm still still wrestling with. Yeah, we're all on the journey. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so what advice would you give to someone who's considering trying this practice um, or adapting it in some way to their own life? One thing I would suggest is keeping your eyes open for the opportunities, for the time. Um, being aware, being in the moment when the opportunity presents itself. I do a lot of distance driving to events. So yeah. right off the bat, there's some time where I'm in the car driving where I could spend some time talking to God. But also being available and being aware of when the opportunity presents itself and, and, and also just having something ready, mm. giving some thought to you know, I'm just not going to plunge into this and see what comes out of my mouth. You know, sometimes it's if I'm going to talk to God, what am I going to talk about? What, what's important? What's important to Him as well as what's important to me? Trust me when I tell you, what I'm presenting you is a work in progress. I wish I had all the answers. I, I hope if you do pick this up that you come across the answers uh, faster than I did because still, some of mine still a work in progress. We're all works in progress, Amen. I think. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, John, for sharing a bit about pleasure. your prayer practice. And uh, I may be coming to your office next.